Hello students, welcome to the another video of the chapter Geographic Grid. In the previous video, we have discussed uh, the concept of latitude and longitude and in this video, we are going to discuss the topic like time zone, local standard time, international deadline and grid circle. Now, let us start with the topic time zone. Now, as we know, uh, the prime meridian divides the earth into two half eastern hemispheres and the western hemisphere so 180 longitudes are drawn on the eastern hemisphere as well as on the western hemisphere so altogether there are 360 longitudes drawn on the earth surface now each of the meridian have different timings as the earth rotates from west to east direction each meridian face the sun at the different timing for example the meridian right now this meridian is facing the sun now when the earth rotates from west to east the meridian will move forward another meridian will come to that place now that meridian will receive the direct rays then the similar way the meridian will also move forward another meridian will come to that place so that place now that meridian will start receiving the direct rays so in that way each meridian will face the sun in the different timing so in that case it is the time taken to travel from one meridian to another meridian is four minutes so in that way uh, in 60 minutes in one hour 15 degree of longitudes are covered in 60 minutes 15 degree longitudes are covered so there are altogether 360 longitudes so if we divide it by 15 so time taken is 24 hours so as you can see in each every 15 degree interval of uh, longitudes the time taken is one hour so in that way there are 24 time zones each 15 degree longitude is one time zone next is the local time and standard time now as we have discussed earlier the earth rotates from west to east direction so as a result what happened is each of the meridian will have different timings for example 30 degree is now facing towards the sun now the earth will rotate and the 30 degree will move forward and 20 degree will come to that place so now again the 20 degree will also will move forward and the 10 degree will come to that place but one thing it is there all the places of the same meridian will have mm -hmm. same time only the different meridians of different places on the different meridians will have different time but the places on the same meridian will have the same time which is known as sun time or local time now we will discuss the standard meridian because there are several longitudes will be passing through a particular area or a country now as the different meridians have different timing for example over here if at a place a if it is 11 o'clock then when we move forward in the different longitudes when we reach the place e then here the timing will be 11 16 okay so in that case what happened is there is a 16 minutes difference between the longitude a and longitude e so when we are traveling across a to e or a e to a we as soon as we pass the meridian we have to adjust the timing so that will create a confusion among the uh, live telecast or the time travel and the like sorry the uh, traveling and all it will create a lots of confusion so what the country do is they take a central meridian the central meridian and the local time of that central meridian will be considered as the standard time and will be followed by the eastern part as well as the western part also so similarly india has also a time difference of two hours from west to east from gujarat state of gujarat to arunachal pradesh so that is the reason the central meridian passing through 82 degree 30 minutes east is considered as IST or Indian Standard Time which is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead than GMT GMT means the uh, Greenwich Mean Time means the time of the prime meridian 
now we will move on to the international deadline now international deadline uh, coincides with uh, 180 degree but it does not run in a straight manner it runs in a zigzag manner now why it runs in a zigzag manner because the international deadline separates the calendar date means if we move towards the east if we cross the international deadline and go towards the east we will gain a day and if we come back towards the west then we will lose a day so that means if a country or an island lying over or the international deadline is crossing that island then on the east it will have if it is having monday then on the west it will have sunday so in order to avoid those calendar dates the international deadlines run in a zigzag manner avoiding all the islands falling in that uh, line now we'll move on to the another topic that is the great circle now great circle means all those circles which uh, which divides the earth into two equal half is known as great circle now let us discuss uh, among the latitudes the equator is only the great circle because it divides the earth into two equal half northern half and the southern half whereas all the other longitudes like tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle antarctic circle doesn't divide the earth into two equal half those are small circles so among the latitude only equator is a great circle rest of the circles are small circles now if we talk about the meridians longitude now longitude as we know those are the semicircles but what happened is the antipodal uh, longitudes which are there if we join those two different semicircles it will make a complete circle now that can divide the earth into two equal half so each and every longitude is a great circle because each and every longitude okay can divide the earth into two equal half means along with its antipodal longitudes so it not only that even if we draw a cycle diagonally passing through the center of the earth dividing the earth into two equal half can also be considered as a great circle so those were the few concept uh, with regard to the uh, chapters the next class i will be discussing how to calculate